China defending its block of some Canadian canola today, claiming its customs officials had frequently detected hazardous pests in recent import samples. The explanation comes after Beijing revoked a permit for Richardson International, one of Canada's largest grain processors, to export canola to China. China's foreign ministry calling the move completely reasonable and legal. But it comes amid a more than three-month-long diplomatic rift between China and Canada, triggered by the arrest of Chinese telecoms giant Huawei's CFO, Meng Wanzhou, in Vancouver. That came at the request of the U.S. for allegedly violating American sanctions on Iran. In the wake of Meng's arrest, two Canadians, Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig, both continue to be held accused of stealing state secrets. Canada has repeatedly called for their release. Back to canola. In a statement, Agriculture and Agri-Foods Minister Marie-Claude Bibeau responding to China's block, saying in part, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency conducted further investigations and confirmed they have not identified any pests or bacteria of concern and that Canada will work with China to resolve the issue as quickly as possible. City News reached out to Richardson International for their reaction today, but the company tells us at this time they're not taking any further media requests regarding the story. What's the impact from China's ban on some Canadian canola on the bottom line? Well, 680 News senior business editor Mike Apple is crunching the numbers. This dropped the price for canola dramatically to a three-year low on international markets. Canada exports billions of dollars worth of canola products to China every year. And some think that this is retaliation from China related to the arrest and possible extradition of the Huawei chief financial officer.